you may have found your way onto this short training because maybe you watched a Facebook ad or a YouTube video or somewhere on social media, you were interested in building a home studio. It could be in your home or it could be in your office, but taking advantage of what people have spent 50000 100000 and even multiple hundreds of thousands to put together so they can deliver their message to the world. Even just standing out on a Zoom meeting or a team meeting where you look like you know what you're talking about, where you get credibility from the moment your camera turns on and you can really bring that audience through the transformation and inspire action. Could be action on your ideas, could be action on your products or services and beyond. What I want to work through here is to show you that you're on the right track. In fact, you're absolutely on the right track to the tune of about $1.6 billion, billion with a B. To the people I have up here on the screen, the one thing they all have in common is they take the way they're presented online seriously. And the way they started before they had the money before they had the production crews, before they had the tech teams, before they, they had other people doing all this, they were doing it themselves. But I'll tell you, in today's world, with the technology available, what they're doing here does not work anymore. There is too high of an, it's too short of an attention span, too high of an expectation level of quality what people come to expect from experts in their field. So what if you had the ability to go from where you are now into having the whole home studio? But see, when I started to put this together, this is what I wanted. This was my dream. But as I started to add the pieces together, the multiple TV walls, the vibe board, the cameras, the mixers, the audio, the lights, and the desk, I'm talking before we get into wires, equipment, installation, and ripping my house apart, this was almost $20,000. What I'm going to show you today doesn't cost even a fraction of that amount. And what we've done over 300 times now is take people who were just using a webcam and a laptop or desktop computer, and in the process of three strategic moves, it looks like they're professionally produced. All of a sudden now, they have the attention. They can secure the attention and scale and grow their audience, either internally or externally to the world, depending on what their objective was. But ultimately, they had to look good on camera. So after doing 300 of these studio installations, you might imagine we've had people actually make some great money doing this. I mean, listen, maybe 50000 or half a million it isn't, isn't that much to you. But what if that was scale on top of what you're already doing and beyond? See, the, the online presentation pain solutions we're talking about here are those who are not making money fast enough. Well, you'll be able to grow your audience with your ideal clients and not just followers from anywhere. But having that professional-looking video, even if the equipment and the tech were slowing you down, you're going to utilize easy, step-by-step, cost-effective solutions that will make your studio, your presence online absolutely pop. And right now, if you're already struggling with time for your family or for yourself, the work you're going to do here is the work that's going to work for you 24-7, 365 into the future. So let's start out by looking at the three critical moves. We're going to look at your lighting. We're going to look at your camera. And then we're going to make sure that you have the content and the process to produce the videos in the right style that will secure you clients. You'll secure their attention, secure their intention, and they'll be investing in your product, services, and solutions. So the first one I want to touch on here is looking and being real that I don't have a ton of time with you and I'm grateful for the time you've given me. We're going to touch on lights, camera, and the process to attain clients in a little bit of a fast way, but I want you to take some notes as we go so that you can implement each step you learn today. And let's get right into that. So the very first part that we're going to talk about is the lighting. This is by far the most overlooked, underutilized tool that you have to make any camera 10, 100 times more impressive than it currently is right now. But one thing you're going to find is there's a ton of things out there about buy the expensive lights, clutter up your office. <laughs> These things are hundreds of dollars. They're huge. They're bulky. They get in the way. And even though they're LED, they seem like they get warm. We're going to do it very simply. And you're going to look for lights you already have around your home. See, once you understand the concept of the lighting, it doesn't have to be expensive equipment. In fact, the lampshade on your lamp now is a natural diffuser. It produces soft light. Use a day, don't use a daylight light bulb. Use a warm or soft light light bulb and have a tan or off-white cover or lampshade on it. It will give you that soft light you're looking for. The other thing you'll notice, they're in front of me. 
at 45 degrees on the corner, and there's one more as a key light if, in fact, you need it. Following these principles makes it super easy to obtain superior professional-looking lighting. Now, the second move is to choose the right camera, and this is a place where you can get lost financially quickly. These cameras are thousands of dollars, and yeah, there's some out there that are under a thousand, but at that point, you're going to start needing to add the lens to it, and so by the time you add the camera and the lens and you put these things together, oh, they mentioned the lenses were also hundreds, if not thousands of dollars as well. Well, what I found is a camera that will do everything these cameras do but yet it fits in the palm of your hand. This little camera right here is the camera that I'm using. It does 4K. It really looks great on Zoom and Microsoft Teams, and it can go anywhere with you. This camera, this is the Instalink 360, beautiful camera. And I'll tell you what, I've tested tens of thousands of dollars in webcams. This one performed the best. In fact, I've, I've picked up over a dozen of them just in the last few months, and I've given them to clients. And even if they have a studio, because in a lot of cases, they've already built the studio. They've already spent the money, and it's still not functional. They spent $20,000, $30,000, $50,000, and it's still not working. Well, I look at over what they bought. They bought lights. They bought cameras. They bought desks. They bought all kinds of stuff. But none of it comes together and works because it's too complicated, and it's not simple enough. Simplify your work, simplify your life. This will be a phenomenal tool for you. Now, once you have the studio set up and you're able to start producing content, the question is what kind of content do you produce? Who's going to look at it? Who's going to engage with it? Who's going to ultimately take action on that content? And this is where you're going to have to do a little bit of testing. But I don't want you just putting it anything out there and just seeing what sticks to the wall. There's a process to the testing that will follow in a content-structured video. Now, there's certain points I need you to hit and certain things that, not a script, but certain things you need to cover and an order in which you need to cover it so that you know you have conversion and you can then scale that to get your ideal clients investing in you. Number one, you have to have a hook, something in the first three to five seconds that grabs their attention and brings them into the video. At that point, you need to then introduce yourself. Simply and short, less than 20 seconds, who you are and what you do. Because listen, you never know who's going to watch this video. In fact, in that next step, in that micro call to action, we're going to ask them to share this video. So people who have never seen you before need to know who you are. But if you tell them first, they don't care. You give them the hook so they know what they're, why they're watching this video. Then they get to know you. Then there's a micro call to action. That's what CTA is, a micro call to action that bring them in so that if they like or see something they like or see something that could help somebody they know, they know to like and share the video. Then, and only then, after that probably 30 to 45 second process of covering one, two, and three, then we can do the content. And it's one piece of content, one topic per video. You, try, you can approach it from multiple angles, but you try to put seven or eight pieces of content in here, even three or four topics into one video. If it works, we don't know what worked. If it doesn't work, we don't know what didn't work. Do one topic per video, even if you approach from multiple angles, but that'll let you know as you build exactly what your audience, your ideal audience is looking for, reacting to, clicking on, and taking action for. After you deliver the content, you summarize it up in about 10 or 20 seconds, maybe give them something to implement and do that week, followed by your full call to action, which could be visit the website, could be book the call, could be take the survey, whatever gift or lead magnet you want to offer. But following this process gives you structure to your videos so you know exactly how they're going to go. Now, I want to make one of those call to actions to you now because if you've seen just a little bit and took some notes, you're going to be effective online. But I want to show you an option here that'll cost you less than $25. That is everything we talked about here and more in detail in this book, Present Like a Pro Online. And as I flip through the pages here, you're able to actually click on and interact with both the links and the QRs that you see, either with your phone or you click on it. And as you click on these topics, you'll see we're co we cover lighting in detail. And in fact, when we really cover lighting, we cover lighting back to exactly how it started, simply. And so you can see the demonstrations on how light actually works and how you're going to implement that in your video production. 
We also then get into the cameras in even graver detail than we just covered, making sure that you know exactly what camera to get at what price point so you know exactly what type of video you're going to produce. And you put the lighting and the right camera together. And by the way, the $900 camera wasn't the winner here. In fact, the camera that won isn't even $300 anymore in a world technology. It's actually come down. So that camera that I recommended is mission critical to those moves. After the cameras, we then talk about the structure to get the clients in. Engage in your message, engage in what you're doing so that you can have everything that you need set up to make this work work for you. So they can spend the time watching your videos, getting to build, like, and trust you so that when you do make an offer, that it will convert. Finally, followed up now, the, the last step will take you through every piece, including being able to book a 20-minute call with me that will have your studio looking incredible as we break down the important moves that you've made and the tweaks you need to make to look like an absolute pro. So ball's in your court now. At the bottom, you'll see the option. It's, it's less than $25 to pick up this book with all the trainings and interactions built in so that you'll look like a pro on camera. There's nothing stopping me, Don, as you as you can tell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love it. By implementing just one of Don's moves, our team closed about 50K in sales dollars that we thought were dead in, in just about 10 days. I was having such a hard time with my computer because I had to share the screen in Zoom and then all these things were open and I wasn't quite sure, well, what's gonna what's gonna open when I share? In less than an hour, using the tools that Don showed me how to use and set up on my computer, I brought in over $500,000. Trying to present it to my audience to be more impactful. So Don is the answer. You know, the gentleman I reached out to, I was paying him $265 an hour. He says, what you want, you need two technicians, minimum probably three. I now do everything he said I couldn't do. I was really stuck. Um, nothing was working because I had some meetings on Zoom meetings and they couldn't hear me and I had tried everything. I'm one of those guys who will just make everything much more complicated than it needs to be. Um, a minute and a half into speaking with Don, solved. Uh, Don has now become, in my opinion, the master mentor when it comes to setting up OBS for presenters, speakers, and closers. If you had not held my hand, literally held my hand, I wouldn't get this far, but I'm, I'm just, I, I love it. I'm just so amazed at how good it looks. I love it. I want them to feel more intimate, like how I feel here. Don, I can't thank you enough for your patience, for your care, and more so than anything, for an expertise that gives me a tremendous unfair advantage. It just looks so so much better. And I felt like uh, last night, especially, I was like, man, this is like a professional production. It helps you to build credibility because the kind of video that you produce from that, your logo on the side, your picture, your avatar and all that kind of adds to the perception that people will have about you when you, when you present it. Don set me up in my own home with my own professional studio while he was remote in about two hours. This has been so great. You made my year. This was like so important to me, Don, that I learned this by the end of the year and I will go live tomorrow by the end of the year. I was looking for some way to really hone my presentation, what I'm doing and what can I do off a, a small studio. And that's like fate brought me Don. Awesome. <laughs> I'm not happy. I just, I just rely on Don to to take me through the steps. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Guys, do I sound excited? Yes. It was so much fun and I would never have thought that I would really enjoy myself doing tech stuff. The great thing is if you travel a lot like I do, you can actually take this studio with you. In case you gotta get internet from a hotel or you lose power or whatever, having that plan B is not a bad thing. Because your plan B and your plan C are going to be better than most people's plan A. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You were patient. You walked with me every step of the way. And you, you, you know the 
the whole layout of the computer so well that you can do it blind. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that will be... That's huge. That's, that's huge. I mean, that solved so many problems, so many headaches. So that's way... Mucho gusto. Cool. Set up in an hour and a half? And maybe yes. not complete, but kind of functional? Uh, functional, and I went live on StreamYard with it. Nobody didn't know. They would think, oh my God, this, this must be like a, you know, such a huge company to have these kind of facilities and graphics and, and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's amazing. Love it. Thank you very much. You've made a change in my life. And you know what, Don, and I just want to say again, given how supportive you've been of, of me, you keep coming back and checking in and I'm just, thank you. <laughs>